Imagine a gentleman of 80 years old with dementia walking along a very isolated rural road with no memory of where and who he is. While the whole world, especially his loved ones, are desperately looking for him and wondering where he is, whether he is safe. Nowadays, the population of people with dementia is reaching up to 50 million. More specifically, every three seconds there will be one more person developing this incurable disease. Therefore, it is important for us to develop a reliable and long-lasting energy source capable of powering tiny devices like a GPS to help locate people like this gentleman. So here's the question. How to power those dedicated devices without the use of bulky batteries? Biomechanical energy from our daily movement, such as walking, is a sustainable and clean energy source, but not well studied and utilized. The major challenge is how to convert this biomechanical energy into electricity. In my PhD project, we will develop a tribal electric nanogenerator which is an energy harvester that can collect biomechanical energy and transfer it into electricity. Besides, the tribal electric nanogenerator is made up of textile materials, which can be worn or just attached to garments. We use conventional wet spinning technology to fabricate smart conductive fibers and to incorporate electrodes into friction materials. So there will be three major breakthroughs in my project. First, this device has high energy conversion efficiency since the fibers have high specific surface area. Second, the process is really simple and cheap to make and both the electrode and friction layers can be fabricated at the same time in a single fiber. Third, and most importantly, it is safe and comfortable to wear. Thanks to the materials we carefully selected, which are flexible and free of metal. This tiny generator developed in this project, based on biomechanical energy, will be able to generate sufficient electricity to power GPS and other electronics, which will change the whole world and save people like this gentleman. Thank you for your attention. Thank you so much.